Remember me? Never saw it before in my life. What? <laughs> Harmony, eh? Burning oil like it's going out of style. I've been going there for a second. You got my message then? Hey, propeller's not failed. Ray, give me some credit. All right, leave it with me. See what I can do. You got a car I could borrow just for a couple of hours? Blue Escort van. The talk's venerable. Back in the park. Shall I wrap those for you, sir? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I don't know that I've finished. It's just I that was... we close in five minutes. Close? For lunch. You never used to? Since the first of the month. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, well, you'd better take them, <laughs> wouldn't you? Thank you. Excuse me, that young lady's gone off with my money. George's. George. George. Gay George. I'll tell you I might call around then. Yeah, you mentioned it. What are you looking for? A couple of five pound rounds, okay? See the money. I think it hasn't been tried. You ever see him? Quiz Games Extra. Yes or no? Not sure why. 
Oh, you sold me some smack. Eh? I want talcum powder, I'll go to Boots. Oh, listen, number one, know who you're dealing with. I'll give you a call. Here, how do you know George? Met him in a sauna. Political, is it? No. All right. There Thanks. You go. Can I sell you some postcards? Do I look like a tourist? A little Billy Do to the folks back home. Touches like that that people remember. Well, that's all I need, a salesman. All right, come on, show me. Sit. Fall of memory. Band when you like. Tell me. What would one have to do to, um... Yes. Well, to get you to, uh... Say it. Well, to recreate the pose. Just pay the entrance fee. How much? It's negotiable. Let's negotiate. Forty pounds. Oh, come on, that's a bit steep. Take Diners Club, do you? Alas. Alas. <laughs> All right. All right, forty it is. Ten now, the rest tonight. Why? My hair, it needs fixing. You don't want me too rough already, <laughs> do you? Wait a minute, not too fast. How do you know I show? That's right. You haven't done much of this sort of thing, have you? Not a lot, no. Shows. <laughs> too modest. Modest? Most tricks are just, well, just that, business. Sometimes, not often, a girl does it because she really fancies the guy. How much do I owe him? P? Pounds. OK, I'll leave it in the office with the keys. OK. It was a bad one. Anybody hurt? No, thank God. Good. What did Ray say was the matter with mine? Oh, something about the fuel injection. Makes sense? Sort of. Any messages? Oh, yes, there was a call. Uh, Wayman said he'd meet you in the boozer at nine, either tonight or tomorrow. Thanks. Max, here a sec. Don't react to what I'm telling you. There's a man, dodgy looking, nosing around Harmony. Thanks, Joe. What would I do without you? Oh, woodwork. 
How quaint. I like to see a man with a hobby. I see. Dodgy type hanging around Harmony. <laughs> Me? Dodgy? How flattering. Who said? Joe. Who Joe? Wife of Boatman. Ah, give her my regards. Oh, we're running low on scotch. Well, you haven't been seeing me recently. How'd you like to do my ironing? Hardly at all. So, what's news? Just scored ten quids worth of heroin. I thought I was coming face to face with Steve for a moment. No. Oh, pretty sick feeling, then. Yeah. Yeah, I can believe. Are you sure he's into drugs? Well, everything seems to point to it. Couldn't be doing it to get at me, could he? Nah. Hardly likely. So, what else? Fixed up a meet one of the cops on the Pember drowning. Hmm. Might be interesting. I've been looking at these photos again. Pictures speak volumes. I wish these would. You know, there's got to be a clue amongst this lot somewhere. Walking the streets with a pocket full of smack wasn't too clever. I didn't. I dumped it. You know, scoring heroin in this town's about as difficult as getting hold of aspirin. There's a story for you. <laughs> Max, you don't read your papers. It's been written dozens of times. Yeah, I suppose. You know it sounded urgent. What do you want? I, uh... I, I, I need a favour. You? Me. Robbo? Fleet Street Pundit? Yes, me. All right. I hate having to ask. I mean, I, I, I do favours, right? I don't ask them. That how it's done? Yes. I ever tell you about Billy? Billy? No, I don't think so. Up here at university. That's why I asked you to hang on. I'm a godfather. Rando did it better. It's no joke, Max. What is it? The father is my news editor. Ah, no joke. Came down from the sticks together. Good news editors are rare. Like rocking horse droppings. Haven't met one yet, didn't have a provincial accent. Billy. Hmm? Billy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Started to go sour, apparently. At the sessionals. First term exams. What did? What went sour? Benny's. Uppers. Burn the midnight oil. Go on. Oh, then down us to counteract the uppers. And then... How far has it gone? No one knows. As far as petty thefts, things like that. What about the bill? <laughs> no. Not yet. Oh, matter of time. Well, Robert, I mean, honestly, what can I do? You can help. I'm not a social worker. You know the drug scene? Used to, two years ago. Hasn't changed. Like hell it hasn't. Spike sweeties in the playground. That's post my time, thank God. Do you know that there is even a black market now in addicts' urine? Yeah, no, listen, it's I... true. They sell it by the bottle so they can get registered and then flog the prescription. Yeah, I know. Listen, I know that. Look, I I'm in a jam. A friend I like and respect in a jam. No more digressions. We agreed, remember? Do I have to hire you? Eh? I mean, you, uh, you quote a daily rate, do you? You called me once, not a million years ago, when you were in stock. Did I fob you off with a lot of excuses? Scratch mine, I'll scratch yours. That's our deal. Well, it's time to show your nails, Max. OK, what do you want? Let's meet with the father first. 
Who was he up to? Yeah. Came up together. Then talked to the girl. What girl? Billy. Christ, I thought Billy was a boy. Oh, no. No. Billy's very much a girl. Yeah. Sorry if it was loud. Thought you weren't in. You marked my essay? I skimmed through it. And? Well, what's that mean? Okay, as far as it goes. But? Yeah, lots of them. Specifically? We'll talk about it again in Tuesday's seminar. Okay. What about tonight? You coming? Of course. We going to dance? I shouldn't wonder. Why have you gone so cool on me? I haven't. You're like a stranger. Billy, I have never been so busy. I've got a stack of essays. I've got exams to set. I'm lecturing on Rochester next week because Mike's away. The opening of the new wing. Local TV coverage. It's Deirdre, isn't it? What is Deirdre? Ha, ah, turning the sun now, I suppose. Billy, this is boring. <sighs> Grow up. Oh, I was grown up enough last term. A term is a long time in politics. Deirdre, like yourself, like all the rest, are just part of my tutorial duties. Bullshit! But oft was thought, but ne'er so well expressed. So what was I? A bit of historical inevitability. You say so. You're a bastard, Alan. You say so. Don't slam it. <laughs> well, she always seemed tired. That was the first inkling. Whacked out. But then she said she couldn't sleep properly. Did she lose weight? I don't know. Never had much to lose. Zombified. That was Joan's word for it. Arthur's wife. Did either of you ever tackle her outright? No, we couldn't. We talked about it, but... No, we couldn't go through with it. You mentioned stealing. Did she steal anything from home? Well, she didn't steal. Borrowed a few pounds from my wife's handbag, that's all. You haven't been burgled, anything like that? No. You mean by her? They didn't abet it. It's not that rare. My God. If if she is addicted, what would it be costing? Could be anything up to 50, 60 quid a day. What about men friends? She live with anyone? No. Is that relevant? Could be. Please have it with your emotional life. My God. Where's the attraction? Happy hour. As soon as a problem crops up, the hungry arm. It doesn't solve anything. You know that. Why? Good home. Loving family, yeah, all the trimmings. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. I desire one. Nah, it could be any of a thousand reasons. Might even be your fault. Me? How do you work that out? Pressure. What sort? Well, I mean, for instance, how much did you have to wind her up to get into university? Not at all. She was always highly motivated. <laughs> the question is, did she do it to please you? No. To please herself. Through pleasing you? Uh, look, why, why don't you wait till you see her? Then you'll be in a position to judge. I mean, how do you think she's going to react to me? She won't want to know. Play it by ear. Play it by... What the hell does that mean? I tell you, it's a half-cocked idea, really. But you will meet her.
Mr. Parsons? Mm -hmm. Sorry, still no message. All right, I'll have another large G&T. Yes, sir, right away. starting again. Know what they say? If at first you don't succeed, pack it in. <laughs> or uh, if at first you don't succeed, try, try a gin. Haven't heard that. You doing history? No English. You don't know Shirley King, do you? Sorry. Oh, well. Would have been no other coincidence. You a student? Of life. What do you read? The Guardian, Biggles. Subject, silly. Well, I'll tell you a secret. I'm just here for the coffee. It's not that good. It's not that dear. It shouldn't be. It's subsidised. You make me feel guilty. <laughs> What's the racket? English department party. You're not going? I have been. <laughs> like that, is it? Well, nice talking to you. Billy. Billy. Where are you going? Sorry. Do you really want to know? Well, I would have asked if I didn't. No, of course you wouldn't. Well, I'm off for the weekend on my boat. Your boat? That's right. Your very own? My very own. Get a bit of fresh air, look at some green fields, a cold glass of white wine, a little music. You want to come? <laughs> ah, well, shouldn't have asked. You've probably got other plans. No. Couldn't I be cruel or something? Can you cook? Can a bird fly? You've got a job. What do you need? Nothing. Let's go. So far, so good. Suppose so. Cheer up. She's in good hands. Not too literally, I hope. <laughs> Culinary wise. Oh, I'm an all rounder. Do you need a cookbook? Don't be so insulting. Where'd you get that? Still over there somewhere. Did you nick it? Of course not. I mean, gave it to me. Really? Where was I? Don't know. Bit light fingered, aren't you? Should hear me play the piano. Have you done? Thank you. She yours? Yeah. You a canals man? Well, family were. Three generations. Really? Aye. Up on there in Calder. My mother were born in a butty near Selby. What was a butty? Butty? Butty work boat without engine. That will pull bit monkey boat with engine where gaffer lived. Tough life, eh? Aye, happen. Expect you have a bit of a quiet laugh at people like us, don't you? No, not really. 
I'd rather see canals used than not. It's not so long since, you know, that Bradford was so polluted, there were blue flames on top of water. True. Oh, that ain't gospel. I saw it myself. Water don't get stirred up, it dies. Now, I can show you where foxes come down at night to soup. Less than a mile from here, you can pick fresh water mussels out at cut. What did they do when the canal froze over? Well, mussels. <laughs> <laughs> no, the people. Aye. Uh, Halfway just all round. That's when you did some poaching and peg making, smuggling. Reckon they used to smuggle brandy in here. You kidding? No. Pub like this, you know. Had stables for overnight stops. Some of them could take up to 20 osses when you've uh, drunk up, pal. I'll show you around if you like. Hey, two pints of best fire. Come on, pal. Excuse us. There's a couple more no walls. Can't tell Stoke from Bitty. <laughs> <coughs> First time for everything. What? Just met a bird who couldn't fly. Oh, that's unfair. I'm not used to the cooker. Anyway, who are you to criticise thieving from impoverished students? Guilty. So? You live on a barge. Meribut, please. And how? I'm black and blue. Like being a snail go everywhere with your home on your back. No wife? No family? Just Frankie. You really like it? I don't like being cooped up, shut in. You don't call this being cooped up? <laughs> no. I like not having a telephone number. I like not having to pay rates. I like... Not having to worry how big the milk bill's gonna be every Friday. I like not having a postal code. I like not having a front door for the watchtower people to knock on. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Don't you get fed up? Oh, of course. Tie up, spend a couple of nights at a pub, farmhouse or something. Yeah. Who are those people? I'm looking for somebody. One of those? Maybe. You're devious, aren't you? Am I? Well, every time you answer a question, I end up knowing less than I did before I asked it. Moral must be clear. What do you use for money? I've some saved. I do odd jobs. Think you can wash up on your own? You're not a male chauvinist, are you? No, but I've got to go out. Tonight? Yep. Put it off. Can't. Please. There's a couple of magazines, books, cassettes. You shouldn't get bored. Oh, changing my Mac. Stay with me. I need company tonight. Really, I do. I can't. Make it worth your while. I've got to meet somebody. It's fixed. I'll be back soon, I promise. Listen, earlier, you asked me if I was into drugs. Yeah. How'd you get involved? I used to buy speed from this dealer. And he gave me this other stuff, and when he knew that I liked it, he stopped giving and started to charge. Chinese? Yeah. <laughs> so hip in those days. I didn't know what Chinese was. How many of the students into dark drugs? Well, put it this way. There's lots of aluminium foil boxes in dustbins which haven't been used in cooking. Billy, look. I've got to go to this meeting. I can't not go. Fair enough. I'll be cooking as I can. Sure. Won't be long. Quiet tonight. We are a bit. They know each other. So I'm told. Let's sit down. Thank you. Left my boobs in my other shirt. Just looking for a wire. Get away. Let's save time, eh? I know who you are. Really are. 
I imagine you might. So what do you want? You worked a sudden death recently, man named Pember, Neil Pember. Did I? Don't fanny about. OK, I was on the case. Any of these six names crop up? What's that? Babcock? Braybrook. No bells ringing. None of them? Nope. Any suspicion of foul play? Pember was receiving calls, threatening, disturbing, I'm not sure which. Any idea of from? Thought you might tell me, but nothing beyond that. Who inherits? Wife. Didn't know there was one. Well, wife sort of. She came running. Incidentally, how long are you going to be around? What's it to you? I don't think my governor would like to think you were on his patch. I'm not going to tell him. If I was in the advice business, you know what I'd say? No, what? On your bike. How the hell can you sleep with all that racket? Billy. Billy? Billy? Oh, Christ! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, Billy. Come on! Come on, Billy! Wake up! Billy! Come on! Come on! <coughs> Come on! <coughs> Come on, Billy, stay awake! Don't go to sleep! Come on! Remember? Remember? That's right. Come on. Drink some more. Come on. Now, do you remember me? Do you, do you remember me? I'm Max, yes? Max, come on. Drink some more. Drink some more. Come on now. Tell me again. Who am I? Who am I? That's right. Now, come on. There we are. Now, what's happened to you? Sleeping pills, Billy! Do you know where you are? No. Yes, you do! Come on. Drink. Drink. Now fight it, Billy. Come on, fight it. <laughs> now listen! You want to kill yourself, you do it somewhere else, you hear me? Come on, get it down. Come on. He's a bastard. Who is? Who is? This is no good, you're drifting off. Come on, come on! Come on, you gotta walk. walk. Yes, walk. Come on. Walk and talk. Come on, start talking. He said he loved me. Who did? Who said? Max. That's right, Max. You die on me, girl, and I'm in deep trouble. So you're not gonna die, are you? No. Are you? No. Yes, 
sleep with girls, didn't you? No. Did you do a damn stupid thing like that for? Come on, left, right. Ah. Come on, left, right, just like a soldier. Left, right. Moment of truth, Billy. Can you swim? Swim? Yeah, you. Can you swim? Of course I can swim. Good girl. Um. Little man, big axe. Yeah, you know him. Oh my God, there's a lump. I'll make some coffee. Thought I could smell like some bacon. You could. You fancy some? Oh, sadist. Have you got a mirror? The way you look, I wouldn't bother. You saved my life, didn't you? You nearly wasted it. How do you know what to do? I've done it before. You're she? She. She grateful? No. Why not? She was dead. Oh. Conversation stopper, isn't it? Clothes? They're drying. Still pong a bit. You may have to pick some others up. Are you really as tough as you talk? Yeah. Got badges for it. Where'd you get the pills? In a drawer. I can't imagine you not being able to sleep. Yeah, well, they weren't mine. I'd forgotten they were there. How do you like it? What? Coffee. Voluntarily? <laughs> My teeth hurt. If I stayed in that pub for another pint, you'd be on a mortuary slab now. I think so black, you have to go out and try and kill yourself. According to the karma, nobody dies. Well, according to Lomax, they do. Either that or I've seen some very good imitations. Death is a sleep from which you always awaken. You don't live one life, you live many lives. So you've been doing smack? You ever inject? No. I'm scared stiff of needles. There's a girl at college, ex-nurse. She'll do it for you for a consideration. Christian of her. I've had some real bummers. So now I'm kicking it. Can you? Of course. They all say that, you know. I went to a clinic in the summer. Did you? And? What about your family? I don't have any. Well, I do, but we don't get on. Can't we go more slowly? Go more slowly, we'll stop. You said something last night, in fact, you said it more than once, about a man. You called him a bastard. Who are you talking about? No idea? You kept saying. I'm sorry. Okay, you get some kip. 
I'll do the shopping. Yes, Doc. Kill herself. Kill herself. How? Pills, sleepers. Realise what that would have meant, Godfather? Me with a dead kid on my boat been great, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, Max. I... I had no idea. I told you it was a non-starter. Is she into drugs? Says she's kicked it. She hasn't. What sort? Sniffing heroin. Oh. Like all the others, she thinks if you only sniff it, don't actually inject, you won't get hooked. And you think that's why she... the pills? I didn't. Well, didn't you ask? Of course I asked! She doesn't know. She's as messed up as they come. There's some fella involved, a student or something. And you don't know any more? No. How did you get the money to pay for the drugs? Beg, steal or borrow. I quote. Well, you, 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 you think it's, it's a token attempt to what? I mean... Token?! <laughs> was real! Very real! I was there! I've seen it too many times! Not when people talk about it, they don't necessarily... No, wrong! Go. They talk about it, they're thinking about it! They're thinking about it, they do it! What do I tell Arthur? Tell him the whole story. Sooner the better. She needs help. I mean, re proper help. She was such a... bright kid. Yeah, well, not for much longer. Just spell it out to him. It isn't a crime, it's a sickness. Like alcoholism, she needs treatment. OK. What she says, the college is rife with it. An ex-nurse will shoot you up for a fee. A minicab driver will actually guarantee you to get you to your dealers and back again without getting busted. I didn't realise it. No. Time you got writing, scribe. Why can't I stay with you? We've done all that. Just for a while. No. Please. Now there's a word I haven't often used. Yeah, I can believe that. Why can't I? Because. You've got to look for somebody. That's right. I could help. Two pairs of eyes. I thought you liked me. I do. The more you knew, the more you'd like. Too old for you, Billy. Too set, too cynical. Oh, balls! Look, get some treatment, get yourself sorted out, get back into your books. Not time these days to learn everything the hard way. Now you stop right there! You are a bloody chauvinist, aren't you? How dare you assume you know what's good for me? I knew last night, didn't I? OK, and I'm grateful, but I have thanked you. Yeah, you have. Now do something else, will you? Call your folks. They don't want to hear from me. Don't they? I'd love to hear from my kid. Maybe. I'll take care. I will. And the bastard, whoever. Forget him. They're not worth it. Plenty more fish in the sea. What about a goodbye kiss? Yeah, love one. I was asking, not offering. Well, that's the same thing, isn't it? I suppose.
come on. Look at the words. What are they telling you? Not very much, Alan. What's wrong with you two, huh? Midterm lethargy? Heavy session last night? Stanza one, silent and salient. An example of what? Alliteration. Yes, but what else? Half rhyme. Hara rhyme. A technique much favored by whom? Neil Kinnock? Fred Astaire. Owen. Dr. Owen? Wilfred. Excellent. Well done. So this is Wilfred Owen. Could be. Could be indeed. For that matter, it could be almost anybody, couldn't it? It is, Owen. It is. The trouble, my loves, is, is that the crowds have all gone home. The floodlights have been switched off. And for this relief, much thanks. Hello. Speaking. So without further ado, I would like to welcome forward His Worship the Mayor. I mean, was it the drugs? Was it the man? What? All my life, trouble has been woman trouble. Didn't even touch her, not her hair. One time I walk away, do the decent thing, she... So bloody stupid. Why the hell do you have to get me involved? Why can't you clear up your own stupid messes? Godfather. She really got under your skin, didn't she? Yes, she did. And I should have been more of... Go on, get lost. I'll be back. Don't bother. How come that TV there? Oh, 
some local big shot opening a new wing. Thank you. 